l'eclettico James Franco sbarca al Lido per presentare in concorso il suo film Child of God, del quale firma anche la regia. It's a, an amazing performance by Scott uh, Hayes, I'll just say that, and um, I, I, there were a lot of actors I, you know, could have gone to and um, big names and all of that, and I knew um, when we started going that Scott was the, the person for this, and I'm sure some people that watch this film will think we found some maniac living out in the woods and just um, shot him, but um, that this is an extreme kind of character, extreme situation, but it, it was a way for me to examine um, somebody that's pushed out of civilized society and someone who is extremely isolated and lonely and who wants to, in fact, connect with um, other people but is incapable. And it was a, a great way to kind of study that and, um, and sometimes to study something that's universal or that we can all relate to, you, you know, use extreme subjects so that um, certain things become more stark. But, um, sorry, it's a long answer. But anyway, w one of the things that also struck me about the book when I first read it was there's a scene where he's... Um, trying to hide a body and he um, is trying to pull it up to the attic and he's just having a hard time and he tries to pull it up a ladder and he can and then he's like pulling it up with a rope and it just struck me that here's a, um, here was a killer that was not, that was kind of bumbling, that he wasn't, you know, just this mysterious dark figure out, you know, in, in the woods that in fact, he, he wasn't very good at what he was doing. I, said, I had my girlfriend and I really went through the, uh, the script together, so I wanted to get her take on a lot of stuff in terms of what, what parts of myself that I, I, could, I could see in this. So it, um, it has more, it has heart to it. It's, 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 it's not just some maniac that's running around doing these deeds. He's, he's a man truly isolated from society. And I think that anybody put in that circumstance, if they, if they find those different elements of what it would be like to be that isolated. I love directing. I've, I've made the switch uh, before, but, um, you know, I, I see both jobs uh, the, as being in the same kind of ballpark. Um, the, you know, you're, you're, in both cases, you're helping to tell a story. You're bringing up a story to life on screen. It's just you're doing it from um, different positions. And uh, isolation um, is a subject that comes up in a lot of the movies that I've made, not consciously. Uh, I don't consciously choose that, but it, it just seems to happen. And um, so that I guess that was one thing I was drawn to. And, and um, you know, you also, when you kind of make things um, or make films, you know, sometimes you're just struck by something. You read something and um, you don't exactly know all the reasons you want to do it, but, you know, the hairs on the back of your neck stand up and you, and to me that's, you know, a signal. It's like, okay, there's something vital there that um, I'm responding to and, and, um, and I think I can, you know, do something with this. So I, I, I had that experience with this book when I, you know, read it for the first time.